Hi, I'm Martine LaDuc. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. And we're at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve to bring you life science at a, at a social, social distance. distance. Today we're going to talk about the zebra longwing butterfly, which is the state butterfly of Florida. And this is the host plant for that butterfly, one of its host plants. So this is the corky stem passion vine. Um, the adult butterfly would lay some small little yellow eggs on the back of the leaves and then the caterpillar will emerge from those. So I can see a couple different size caterpillars on the passion vine. This one's a little smaller than this one and there's one over here as well. So there will be five instars before it becomes the adult butterfly. The zebra longwing is the most interesting butterfly that I have researched. They lay a couple of yellow eggs and then when the caterpillar emerges, it is a white caterpillar with black spots and black spikes. And it looks like it would hurt you, but it doesn't. They will go from the egg to the caterpillar or the larva, then to the pupa, they will create their pupa and it looks just like a dead leaf. And the adult butterflies are so intelligent. They go to their host plants and they, if I were to take the plant away, they would go back to that same spot the next day trying to look for that plant. They um, eat nectar from the flowers, just like the other butterflies that, we've, um, that we're all familiar with. But that's kind of just like sugar water. There's not a lot of nutrition in that. They also eat pollen, and most butterflies don't do that. And pollen is like a protein. So do you know that most butterflies only live for two or three weeks? The zebra longwing is able to live for three months or even longer because it also eats the pollen, the protein from the flowers. And then at night, they roost. So what happens is the oldest, one of the older zebra longwing butterflies will find a nice place to hang upside down. And other zebra longwings will come and gather all around it, and that's what they call roosting. There can be up to 60 butterflies in one roost, and they hang there overnight and they sleep, and it helps to keep them keep warm. And in the morning, just like a family that might be sharing a bed, they start to nudge one another to wake each other up and to get each other moving, and then they fly off for the day and they come back to the same roost at night. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the zebra longwing, our Florida State butterfly. This is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. We'll see you again next time.